Besides the Chinese characters, the branding of Walmarts in China is pretty much the same. The big difference is inside. Now at first sight, it might look almost the same. Besides the music and the messages being blasted all the time and some Chinese decorations, the rest is fairly similar. You have all the same categories of products, you know, house products, clothing, storage, cleaning. But if you look closely, you'll find some really weird and unique products that you would never find in a Walmart back home, especially in the food section. So, let me share with you my top 10 weird products that you'd find in a Walmart in China. Yeah, open air dry meat. So you'll find like dry sausages, dry ducks, dry shrimps, dry fish. I mean, if you were to take me around the Walmart with my eyes closed, I could tell from the smell that I'm in this section. You can really get the combined stench of all those different dry meats and fish. I mean, I'm sure some of this stuff tastes really good, but it's still weird to find this in the Walmart. Live turtles. And those are not pets. I'll let you imagine the rest. In this section, you'll also find live toads. Well, except this one. And yeah, those are not pets either. I know those really look like snakes, but they're actually a kind of fish. They live in muddy waters. I think if you translate word for word here, they're called mudfish. And they're kind of an hybrid between a snake and a fish. I've tried them once uh, in a hot pot and basically they just drop the live mudfish directly in the boiling broth and they die and cook at the same time. Um, it's not bad, the texture is interesting, but there's like this weird mud aftertaste. Anyways, I'm not here to debate taste. Everybody has different tastes. It's just strange to find this in a Walmart. Black chicken. Now, I've seen those in the farmer's market, but uh, to find them in the Walmart is kind of surprising. Um, I've never tasted it. Apparently it's good. It has to be good because it's quite expensive. It's uh, almost 50 yuan for one kilo. If you compare it to like regular chicken drumsticks that go for like about 20 yuan for one kilo. This has to be special. And strangely, the skin is naturally black. I mean, it's not colored, but the bird looks like this. I wouldn't expect to find a black skin under those white puffy feathers. Now this one here is not really one specific product, but more kind of a product category. Um, it's a bunch of small individually wrapped snacks and when I say snacks I'm not talking about like the typical snacks or candies that you'll find like chocolate nuts or or sweets here is a very different type of snacks um, talking about tofu marinated vegetables small sausages duck legs and duck necks small fishes fish steaks small squids and a bunch of other small snacks that I wouldn't be able to say exactly what they are. Cracked quail eggs on the bed of salt. I'm not sure what to think about this. So here you got a bunch of tied up live small crabs stacked on top of an ice table with some fake grass or something like that. I guess it's meant to make it look more fresh or appetizing. I don't know about you, but to me this looked very depressing and sad to see all those little creatures spending their last moments all tied up in strings like that. Baked sweet potatoes that you can buy and eat like that. Perfect snack to eat on your way back from Walmart, right? I 
3,400 yuan bottle of Remy Martin in the Walmart. All right, so this one is not really a product because they're not really selling it. It's more. Okay, the chair is talking to me. So yeah, like I was saying, this is not really a product that they're selling. It's more like a service. Every time I'm going to Walmart, I'm always surprised to see those massage chairs around. Most of the time, I just see people sleeping in those chairs. But every now and then, you'll see someone actually using the massage function. And in the toy section, you'll find a lot of brand appropriation and weird IP hybrids and mixes that don't really make sense. Like the Superman gun shooting little kind of ping pong balls. I don't remember Superman ever using a gun. Or you got those fast food transformers, the burger robot, the french fire robot, a toy chainsaw. Then you got this hybrid between the movie car and some dinosaurs, so it's like kind of a a car with eyes that's a jar full of plants and dinosaur and an egg yeah and you'll find a similar car but this one with some kind of blocks seems like the same design or the same company that makes those you think that a big store chain like Walmart, that's pretty much all over the world, would be more careful about IP protection and copyright issues. But I guess they have no saying whatsoever. Tons of pig plushes. Actually, this one is kind of a cheat because it's the Chinese year of the pig, so you'll find pigs everywhere all year long. I'm finally out. I've been in this place for hours. I think I've had my dose of Walmart for at least a little while. Anyways, I hope you enjoy my top 10 of weird things you can find in the Chinese Walmart, and I'll catch you in the next one.